Hey, George here. Today I'm gonna make this uh, homemade uh, salsa, but I'm gonna do it different. First, you get this crushed up uh, pepper, garlic. <laughs> hey, George here. Today I'm gonna show you how I make this salsa. I use garlic and I crush it. I crush it, you get it into a little, a little baggie and you crush it with your mouth. I already have one already here. You can see it here, that's the crushed garlic. Then we're gonna add, we're gonna add tomatoes and uh, a pepper, but this pepper, it's very common over here in this part of Mexico, the, the south. But it's not so common in the in the other parts of the country. And for some reason or another, maybe it's historical. But this uh, this pepper, it's really popular here down in the south. It's habanero pepper, and um, that's uh, that's it's very good. It's very spicy. And I want to show you this salsa is made on a hot plate. That's how a lot of people make them. A lot of families make this salsa but they put the ingredients on a hot plate you put the tomato on a hot plate and you put the pepper on the hot plate so you put the tomato you put the pepper together and then we're gonna add cilantro and the cilantro the little stalks the little this little piece the little stalks you don't you don't throw it away we don't throw it away we use all the parts and you just smash these up, smash these up. Some people take this skin, you see the skin where it's burnt? Some people take it off, I don't take it off. Our family doesn't take it off. Um, I guess it's just a preference, because people don't want to eat that. We don't eat it, I don't eat it either, but you just put it aside and that's, it'll be the last thing. That It'll be the only thing that le that's left when you're eating the salsa. And I'm gonna eat it with, with some empanadas that I made. I don't have a video because I don't I didn't make a video of it. I made a video of it, but it's not it's not so good. I'm, so I kind of this I'm kind of waiting to get my YouTube studio set up. So that's what that's what you do. We got all our ingredients. And we're gonna smash it and we're gonna add some salt to it. This you can't really measure, you just gotta go by taste. I already know, I don't even have to taste it because I already know how much salt it's gonna take. So you just smash it. Now we don't use this, we don't use spoons. We actually use this thing called the molcajete. That's how, that's how you would do it. I don't have one right now currently, but I do plan to get one in the future. And it's the molcajete is made out of a lava rock. It's carved out of lava rock. It's just a little, like a little bowl, but it's really cool. I mean, it just makes a big difference on the taste, if you, if you can believe me. Uh, so you just mash. We would, if I had one though, that's where, that's what the salsa where I would be doing it. So you smash all the ingredients together, and that's pretty much it. And it tastes really good. Make sure you you get that pepper into all little pieces because you want you want that pepper to get into to sip in into the flavor of the tomato, right? You want that flavor, that spicy pepper flavor to sip in into the tomato and the cilantro too. So you get into it, smash it real good. You can't really smash it with a spoon. You need that. You see, it's got a little, like a little, like a little rock that comes with the, with the mocajete. There's no translation for that word in English, but it's, I guarantee you everybody here in, every household in here in, in Mexico has one of those things, one of those mocajetes. I know the lady, landlady that I rent from, she has one. And I just don't like borrowing stuff, but that's what I wanted to show you guys is this salsa. That the difference is that it's made in a, in a hot plate. The, the ingredients, you put them on a hot plate and you use that lava, that lava bowl 
and more cajete to make it in. So, all right, thanks. Um, I'll be making more videos about this. I just gotta get settled down. Things that you would find like in a common household, Mexican household that you don't see about it like on YouTube or, or on Google. Uh, hit like if you like the video and subscribe to my channel, alright?